welcome senior presidential director, Steve Merritt. Okay, everybody. Now is when we're gonna have some fun. We're really gonna get down to it. Get out the, get out the chalk talk for everybody. All right, we're really gonna get you focused on exactly the game plan breaking out of this weekend. Okay. We're gonna talk about a couple things. Again, congratulations for everybody that uh, was in Aruba, that was Aruba with us. We had a blast. We missed every one of you, but if you start implementing exactly what we're training you this weekend, you are coming with us. And once you start earning these trips, you don't wanna miss the next one. Gene and I have been on 60 paid for free tr trips. And I was talking to Meredith and David earlier, and I said, hey, I know that you guys got the checkbooks ready. These people here are gonna make you pay. Are you ready? I mean, they want to pay for these free trips. They're going to be announcing the next one. I don't want anyone missing out. That's why you're here. So, hey, text a friend, call a friend, get him in a seat because you do not want to miss what I'm going to train right now because I don't want anyone to miss anything uh, that's going to happen for you as you break out of here. No questions. The people that are in their seat are going to know exactly what to do and how to do it as they break out of this weekend's event. So, this is how to strategize and build your, your binary successful. Now, I'm gonna flip the other side in a second because it's how to create momentum. But I first want you to understand everything, and some of you might have seen a little bit of it, but you gotta get it in your head so you know exactly what to do to conquer this binary. Now, before we came into play, Onyx, Gina, myself, nobody, nobody taught putting 20 personals right and 20 personals left. That's why the company is exploding right now because all of you implementing what we know works. They asked all the folks that were up here that were at the highest ranks last night on the panel, as everyone did the 2020, every single person did it. Now what's interesting is normally you might have to look down when you tell someone to do the 2020 in, a, in, a, uh, uh, in this our industry because the product is not that good. You heard from David, you heard from these doctors. This is the real deal. You start talking about the X39, you do what Ken Burke said, just put it on your back and just turn around and say, have you, have you ever seen one of these? Whatever you gotta do to start the conversation, you are gonna start seeing incredible success and you are gonna conquer this 20 right and 20 left. Let me tell you why you wanna do that. Again, this is you. Your goal is to put 20 personals to the right and 20 personals to the left. Of course, you're gonna follow the compensation plan and the, the structures that you have to build as we talked about it last night. Kevin and Emily did a great job with the panel about going manager, director, senior director. Okay, that's our goal. As a matter of fact, if you notice the tunnel entrance that we got coming in, when you walk in, it says this is it. When you leave, it's like the, old, the Bulldogs locker room. They all tap the wall as they go out of the out to play the game because they're going to win and they're going to make this happen and they're working as a team. You notice how he say go senior director. It's the goal for the entire weekend for everyone to get to senior director. We believe in you. This is your time. Tap that. Now don't push it down and crush it. All right, but tap it and say to yourself and your wife, your spouse that you're doing it. You're going all the way, you're going senior director, okay? We want everyone, that's our goal in the next 90 days, and it can happen sooner, like you heard from Matt Curtis, you can get this done, but you gotta start doing it. So, if you haven't uh, gone manager, your first goal is one right, one left, and another one right, another one left, two right, two left, now you're a manager, you're doing the same thing as you're putting the 20 personals right, 20 personals left. So, like Onyx said, go manager first to prove that that's what you gotta do. The problem a lot of times with people is they go manager and then they stall. Don't stall. Have this kind of stamina that, hey, we've been in for almost 13 months now. We still got the energy. We got more energy than we did when we got started. Now we got more belief than we got started. You ain't said nothing yet. Instead of saying, oh, I went manager and now I'm starting to uh, get tired or get lazy. Stay focused. This is the easiest thing you'll ever do. Now, I really actually like what Mike said earlier today, and you kind of might have uh, not gra grasped it, but I always lead with the product. So everybody's personality is different, but no sooner do I start leading with the product on what the, the X39 can do for them with their body health-wise, I am telling them because right away, almost in the same sentence, because nobody has this technology, it's patented, the testimonies are off the chart, all these doctors are telling us what we got our hands on, there's a very lucrative business plan behind it. So you see Mike starts right away with the business plan, I start 
with the with the product using it because I like to I like to uh, I'm not a I'm not a person that likes to start a conversation. But when you got something this easy to talk about, everybody needs it is a slam dunk piece of cake. But you got to add in there's a very business very lucrative business plan or whatever you there's insane money whatever you like to talk about you just lay it out okay and you could you can you could take a, advantage of this so the reason why you'd want to do that is as you're putting these 20 people right and the 20 people left a lot of times I'm helping different people in the when I get them started because I want to help them just like we talked about all weekend about helping other people go manager and I'm gonna talk about that on creating momentum in a second but we uh, we t when I when I get a phone call from somebody or I'm talking to them on a three-way, uh, they're very heavy on the wellness of the patch. Like they want to know every detail that is in the patch. Like repeat what David said and all these doctors said is what they want me to say. It's because of the approach of the person that spoke to them about the product. If it's all about the product and they don't know about the opportunity, all they want to know is the science, and that can take a long time. If you really know, because I would go back, I go back to my friends and say, hey, realistically with this binary, you really, really, really only need one good one on the right and one good one on the left. You think in the next 12 months, your odds of finding one person looking on the right and one person looking on the left are pretty good. The odds are stacked in your favor. We've already heard from Dr. Stillman, they're stacked in your favor. Every one of us should be going and helping send patches to the doctor's mom or the doctor's dad. Everyone, every one of them needs something because they're, they're, they're struggling as well. It doesn't matter, we're all in this together, so let's go bless a bunch of people. But when I go back to my friends, I say, if you really know that I can help you by just helping one good one on the right and one good one on the left, that's who I'm looking for, then it makes sense that you should be talking to people about the opportunity more. You're only talking about the product and that's all I'm buried in talking to them on a follow-up call is about the technology, about the product. And it goes very slow. So if, you, if you're gonna open your mouth, why not do it that's gonna be very productive and like, They've all been telling us is patching. I mean, does it make sense if they say we're the fastest growing team, that means we're patching the most people. Does that make sense? So if we're patching the most people, we're doing something right. We're talking to people about the product, but then we're saying, hey, there's an opportunity. We just got to patch a bunch of people. Sign me up, okay? So the reason why the strategy of the 20 right and the 20 left, and you always keep your personals to the far outside. Now again, Onyx mentions it a lot of times, Matt mentioned it last night, that you put your friends and family together, maybe you got a church, uh, your congregation, you kind of want to keep them together. I like doing that because if somebody knows each other, then they all can kind of be in the same group and we can all work together because remember, everyone's volume counts for everybody as you're putting them in, okay? So you definitely want to be putting, uh, uh, do that but don't let that hold you back just start slamming them in okay uh, and if you start getting on a roll after you break out of here it's like Gene and I put so many people and I'm sure Renita can relate all of a sudden I'm like okay I'll put them on the right we'll put this one on the left put two more on the right to one you just start slamming them in because it's up to the person if they want to go make it happen the only strategy I do tell you is that you'd want to try to do what zero remember the ignorance on fire video the one thing he did get he wants his legs equal now, I don't mean by the numbers of the people, because you could put your mom and your aunt on one side, and I could have uh, Renita and Mike Hernandez on this side. I definitely got to get some people that are go-getters on this side. Does that make sense? So just because it's the numbers, it's all got to do with the volume and the momentum that's happening on the team. You want to keep them equal. So you want to keep, you always want to keep them to the far outside so that everybody can, can take advantage of all the volume that you're putting in. Watch, if I feel sorry for my sister right here and I put my best friend, Matt, let's say, on this per spot right here, okay, now... Uh, I'm responsible not only for this like because every time you put somebody in now you're responsible to put people underneath them and take uh, Responsibility of helping them so you want to keep helping all these people So you've got two legs you're building all of a sudden you got you're gonna help somebody out by putting uh, Somebody on the inside because you feel sorry for them. You're basically saying they're not gonna do anything, right? So who's gonna do the work you got to go help that person?
okay? Oh, do you feel sorry for Aunt Mary? Okay, now I got to go help here. All right, oh, what about Uncle Joe? I got to go help him. I mean, you're putting yourself into way more work. That's why Gene and I do not suggest a husband and wife building uh, two spots. It's too hard to create momentum. I mean, unless you're an animal, and I'm pretty much an animal, and I don't want to do it. So anyone that's saying that, and if your upline is saying to do that, I, I don't, that's not how we teach. We teach we're here, and we put 20 right and 20 left. I guarantee if you interviewed all these people walking this stage that hit senior present, presidential or above, they're building their one position. Maybe they uh, somehow stuck them in before they knew that what the plan was, but, at the, but when they understood it, they're building right and they're building left under one position. So that is why you want to keep the people to the far, always your personals to the far outside. Okay, don't get, don't get frustrated by that. Just follow the, follow the directions. I mean, I will say this much too, that being a pro athlete, I always had to have one coach. If you have more than one coach, one coach is telling you one thing, another coach is telling you another thing. So if you're listening to a bunch of people, I'm not surprised you're not where you want to be. If you want to focus on the ones that are building it fast and, and rocking this thing, stay focused. Don't try to reinvent the wheel and try to uh, uh, come up with something crazy. Stay focused. Remember Ke uh, Ken Robinson was talking about there's a system. Stay focused. We could always tweak this or that, but we know this is the best way and what's happening. So as you're doing it, you want to get yourself engaged right now. This weekend, I'm going to go make it happen. We talked about ignorance on fire. You saw zero ignorance on fire. Build with urgency. The time is now. Between now and the new year is the fastest growing time. Stay focused. Stay moving. And the best blessing you have going for you right now, whether you're just brand new, it doesn't matter because you're going to be caught in the momentum of this weekend. You want to plug in the, 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 the mo moment, the best time to build is between now and the new year, and you're already going into it with momentum. And what did what did Meredith say? We had the number one month. And by the way, when I was in the backstage with uh, David Schmidt, he said, oh my gosh, if you think July was big, wait till you hear what's about to happen in August. And what did Meredith say? That's like the lowest, slowest months in, the, in our industry, and we are crushing it. Wait till we go into these months of September, October, November, December. It's going to be wild. Okay? And you've already got momentum going. Normally, you have to start creating momentum in August or, or September to go, and you gain by the time you get to December. We got the momentum happening right now. Okay? Uh, goals. To get, you want to do this in a 90 day period, by the way. You want to get to 20 right and 20 left in 90 days. Why? Because you want to have that urgency, and that's what's going to create. Uh, momentum as well. You want to have that urgency to get it done, and that's what draws everybody with us to make it happen. So can you have that stamina that David was talking about? You're sitting on an opportunity of a, of a lifetime. Let's take advantage right now. No time is ever going to be good, because if you moved yourself three months from now, six months from now, you're going to have other crises and things going on, so you might as well build it right now, and then you've got money in your pocket to handle those crises. Are you with me? Okay. Uh, so, how do you get there in 90 days? You're doing our 331 system on a daily goal. That's your goal, 331. Then you're going to do your weekly goals of sponsoring three people every day. So, you hit your monthly goal of 12 personals. You might not sponsor three this week, but because you're doing three every single day, that's 90 new people in a month. You're hitting your goals as you go through the month. And in 90 days, you're going to be <coughs> uh, 20 right and 20 left. Stay consistent, okay? Stay consistent. We're going to be talking about that more tonight. Have stamina, like David Schmidt talked about. Uh, reason to enroll now. Why? Okay. I might talk to Bob, uh, Sandy, uh, Missy, uh, Matt, okay, and they're all got their order form. They all got patches, but they're kind of thinking about it. Well, I'm not sure, okay. All of a sudden, I talk to a Renita, and she is flat fired up, ready to go right now. Before I put her in, I say, hey, Guess what, guys? I got this person here that's all fired up, and I'm ready to put, I got all, I got a person right here that's all fired up, and I'm just about to put her in. I talk to you first. If you decide to get in, we'll put her uh, underneath you, and you are going to have that happening. So I give these four people a reason, and remember, you can make up to 25000 a week for the people I put in that you don't know. <laughs> Sign me up. They get, you just got to have that, that sense of urgency and tell them, give them something to lose, and they want to get in. 
I mean, you got to figure out ways. If you haven't been winning the way you want, start listening to what Mike is saying, what people are saying up here, talking to the right people, okay? People that like to win. Renita posted on her Facebook all the trophies she won growing up, all these trophies, because she's moving and she put all these trophies in her arm. We're sponsoring a winner. Are you sponsoring and looking for winners? I don't care if they're broke or busted right now. If they've won once in their life, they can win in LifeWay. They just have to know how that winning attitude. If you're coming in here because this is a business of, oh, I feel so sorry for the limper. All right, I feel sorry for the person that's got this or this kind of crisis or they need money. Remember what Gina taught me on the airplane. When the oxygen mask come down, put it on you first, because you can't help anybody else unless you got your oxygen mask on. Let's get what Mike Caruso was talking about earlier today and get you free so then you can go help all the other people. Stop looking for all the needy people and start looking for the people that got a kick in their step, like Mike was talking about last night. And then take responsibility for both legs. I will tell you that many, many people make the mistake of not putting uh, some leaders, some people that are getting in, because they see a leg that's blowing up and they only focus over here. You're only going to make half the money. I'll tell you that right now. And because you don't have both legs rocking, and if you put somebody in here and all of a sudden they wake up, like Cyril said, and they got 24 people underneath them, you think they might be excited. So you want to stick them both ways. I didn't say two right and 20 to the left. I said 20 right, 20 left, and that's how you're going to make it happen. So that is the key to creating the urgency, and that should be your goal, breaking out of here. And like Kevin said, go to Build 331. You can get the How to Go Senior Director in 90 Days presentation. And if you're in and you already have done it or you are on your roll to get it, you've got to take and start uh, helping your team do the same thing and set their goals. That's what it's for. It's for you to help them. you got to take this information to your team and make it happen, okay? So let's spin this board around and let's talk about creating momentum. And by the way, if you've got a, uh, if you got a upline that can pull out a whiteboard and they can draw everything out, you know you're working with someone that knows exactly what they're doing and they can make it happen and teach everybody how to do it, okay? Uh, somebody will tell me, hey, they know everything. Get me a whiteboard, show me what you got. Let me tell you, explain it exactly. If they start him and hawing, they don't know what they're talking about. So that's why we're excited and you want, we wanna leave you here with confidence. You know what you gotta do. I gotta put 20 right and 20 left. You know how I met Mike? You know how I met Mike? I met my, my son, Blake, who's helping out here, was taking batting lessons, and I was watching the batting coach in a batting cage teach my son, Blake. And the whole time I was sitting there, for one hour, I was sweating, sweating, thinking, should I talk to this guy or shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? If, he's, if, he, if I say this, he might say that. If I say this, he might say that. I mean, I, I, I'm already worn out. I haven't said a word. I did say to myself, if I want to get closer to my dream of bringing my wife home from work, I got to open my mouth. And I did say that Gina's going to ask me when I got home, did you talk to the batting coach? So I knew I had to just open my mouth. The guy was kind of a, you know, you ever hear the thing, every dud can lead you to a stud? He was the dud, but he somehow handed the bottle to Mike, who got his, his, uh, his, his, bro his son feeling incredible, and they tore it up and made it happen. But that's how I've gone through many. I mean, uh, Gina talked to someone the other day, said her husband and I are going to tear this up. I called the husband. He said, heck no, we don't want nothing to do with it, bonk. Okay? Then she went to the dentist office, and the dentist said, oh, I'm not interested. But the son said, hey. You're making that kind of money? I want in now. So you don't know who you're going to talk to. You just start planting those seeds. People are going to make it happen. And by the way, you can use other people's testimonies and other people's success for you to win. You don't have, I started with Onyx testimonies, not mine. You use what everyone else, all of us are succeeding. You talk about what the doctors are saying, what's happening, what the, what the people that are coming across the stage are doing. Okay, so. How do you create momentum? We talked a little bit about meetings. Remember, we've got the three, three, one. So you got to make sure that you're following up. And when you talk to somebody, don't say so much because if you tell them everything, there's no reason to follow up, right? The minute they ask a question, that's your sign to send them to startx39.com. Good question. Send them the link. Okay, now you can follow up with them because you got someone to follow up with. Sandy did an incredible job on that. Now, the number one is for 
pointing to a Zoom or showing the plan yourself or taking the order form like Matt said. Everyone's got a different way of doing it. Just bring it. They got their own personality, but you got the order forms that are laid out there just like uh, Meredith's link. Did you see what it said on the link? Does it match the order form? The exact same thing. Silver, gold, diamond. It's so easy now. You just pick, and it even tells you what you do. You're just going to be on, you're going you're gonna to try the X39 for 90 days, or you're going to be a builder or a serious builder. Where do you see yourself? Click it, get them on auto ship, all right? So you can, you, that's part of showing the plan, seeing them in person and signing them up. When we started, we didn't have no presentation. We didn't have nothing. You don't have to be great at it. Set up a banner and pull the patch up and tell them what you saw this weekend briefly, and that's you're doing a meeting, and then sign the people up. So start taking ownership of your own business by not only waiting for those one Zooms that are on on, because not everybody can, have you had anyone say, I can't make it on Wednesday night, I can't make it on Monday night, I can't make it on, on, on a Friday at noon. So you are the person that has to be your Zoom. So when we say Zoom, it could be us or it could be you. You're doing the Zoom. Okay? But you got to take responsibility to do your own work because I always was told this for years that if, uh, if your upline is showing the plan, then it's their business. But if you're doing it, then it's your business. So the, the, we have a brand new presentation that is either uploaded or it's going to be. It's got disclaimers, all kinds of things that you need to have on the presentation. Very similar to what we got, but a cute few details. You just got to read the slides. Don't be complicated. Don't make it complicated. Just read the slides and you get them, get them excited about the opportunity. So how do you create momentum? Okay. Well, if you know the unit level part of the plan, so if, if I'm going 20 right and 20 left, this is my right team of my personals and this is my left. Now I only put four personals up here to kind of show you an example. All right. So here's my personal, uh, all these are my personals that were, so these are my first four going 20 right and 20 left. Remember the matching bonus? You make more money when you personally sponsor people. So why do you put the 20 right, 20 left? It's because you want to have enough people to work with that are hungry. You sponsor two people and you're like, keep pushing them to get on the Zooms and they don't want. You want someone to say, hey, I want it. Where is that Zoom link? I'm ready. That's why when you put 20 right, 20 left, you've got hungry people that are looking as, la as long as you're looking for people, like Mike said, with a kick in their step and they're not going like this, okay? Looking for hungry people, right? So I'm not saying that somebody with a limp isn't hungry. You've got to find out. But don't only look for people that are limping. Okay, now, what you're going to do is the reason to have a Zoom meeting, like pointing to a Zoom or doing your own. And I will tell you, almost everyone that's in here and walk this stage and I can pick on my friends Ken and Lynn Robinson is we had a we do our bigger zoom meetings with have 500 plus people on there but then like on an off night or an earlier before night I remember my friend Jerry Betterman that's how we got him started we uh, David Alvey and their team is we might start with five people just like I did so I'm doing my own zoom for that part of my team I'm not I'm taking responsibility for one of my legs let's say this is um, uh, Ken Robinson I'm helping him get started so we started with five then it went to 10 then it went to 20 then it went to 100 now he does his own with hundreds of people on there so you take responsibility of your team and help them do the zoom now verdita mentioned that 99 percent of all of our meetings have been done on zoom but what i meant to say to her what i told her was uh only 80 percent of the people know how to do a zoom i'm not saying they can't click a link but if you don't know how to do a zoom google it Learn how to do this. I mean, I'm not a techie person, but I'm smart enough to know if 99% of everybody that Onyx, when I got in, said all of her business came from doing Zooms. So I learned how to do it. You could practice with your kids, practice with your dog, practice with your grandma. I don't care. Just do a couple of them. You'll get it. And by the way, we didn't even share screens when we got in. We just looked at people in the eye. Here's the patch. Here's what it's doing. Here's what my sponsor had a, a testimony of. And we signed them up. So start doing the Zooms or do we uh, coffee shop meetings or do meetings at your at a house? Okay, like Linda was talking about. How do you create momentum as you're building your legs? So I got to take responsibility for the legs that I have here, okay, and make it happen. And what's interesting is what somebody mentioned up here that when you sponsor somebody, you don't know what they're going to do. I talked to the doctors about that because they don't know this. You lead me to somebody that's hungry. 
I'm going to be working with them, and that's going to be your residual in income for retirement. Did you hear what the one doctor said? I see myself making four or five times what a vascular surgeon makes in LifeWave. Hello? Okay? And that's probably like peeny little money to me, but think about it. At least uh, they're making something, okay? Uh, so, anyways, what we're going to do is you're going to have your right team and your left team, and you want to start breaking managers. Ken talked about that last night. You can understand. I'm, I'm listening and learning from everybody, okay? So you got to go manager, like I said. So let's start here. Now, what you're looking for is the most fired up person that there is. Now, if I want to go, the most important goal is for me to go help a friend succeed. So I would call, say, Matt Curtis and say, what's going to help you go manager? You know what? I really want to go to the beach, so I'm not really fired up, ready to go. It. So I'm going to call the next person, Renita. Uh, you want to go manager, right? Yes, I do. Okay, what do we need to do? So you're going to go and help the people that are the most hungry. If I call everyone and they say, I'm all at the beach, I'm all somewhere else, then I'm going to go put another personal in on my 20 right and 20 left till I find someone hungry. Okay, uh, so let's just say Matt says, I'm ready to go. What do I got to do? Okay, we got to go manager. Onyx held it up. I'm going to help him go manager. You heard everybody say what to say up here. The conversation is very easy. Have you seen this patch? Okay, I'm going to go with Matt. I'm going to go to his friend. We're going to go there together, and I'm going to start. I'm going to. Matt's going to say, this is my friend Steve. How you doing, Joe? This and that. Great. I heard you're a great plumber. Hey, have you seen this patch? Right? I mean, let's start. Let's get it out there, and I'm helping Matt. I might have to get on the phone with him. Hey, Bob, this is Steve. You don't know me. My friend Matt said you're a great plumber. That's why we're talking to you. You're successful. We got something. We're on to something big. He wants to use it so he could retire from being a carpenter. He thought you might be sharp enough to do the same. It's got to do with stem cell reactivation technology. So I'm doing the same thing Verdita taught you, but I'm doing it now for Matt. This is how you create momentum. Everyone you're looking for, you think, is somebody that wants to do it. There's kind of a pattern up here. Renita said she didn't want to do it. Mike said he didn't want to do it. Other people up here said they don't want to do it. Everybody, nobody wants to do nothing, okay? But they know they need to do something. So we're really looking for people. When the aha moment, you heard the doctors, most of them didn't want to do it. But when they saw the light, oh my gosh, they're the best ones. So you really are looking for people that do not want to do it. The ones that don't want to do it relate to everybody because nobody wants to do it. If, they all, if you want to do it, you're that strange one. So don't worry about that. You're excited when they don't want to do it. Onyx will tell you over and over again through the whole time you've been in business that she did not. She ran from Gina and myself, and we finally caught her. She got in. Okay? She saw the light. What could happen? So now what you're going to do is I'm going to help Matt. I'm going to help Matt do what Verdita taught you, but I'm helping him make the calls. After he hears a couple, he's going to go do it on his own. You don't go sit at home, log on to LifeWave, and see, is anyone doing anything? No, they're not doing nothing. Because you're showing them to go home on the computer. Everybody in your group is at your computer. Who's doing anything? Nobody's doing nothing. Because you're not doing anything. It's so simple. Hey, you got stem cells. We got an answer to reactivate them. I never was told they were dormant. I know your mass friend, he doesn't want him cells dormant, I don't want mine dormant. How about you? No, me neither. Kind me up. Come over. I want to see it. All right? So whether you're calling or going to do it, you're going to help Matt go manager. Got it? If he wants to go manager, you're going to help him, okay? Because now you're teaching him what to do, okay? Now you went over to his friend Bob's house, you're going to go and help him go manager. You see what I'm doing? I'm helping people in his depth. Matt might be over here doing whatever he has to do on his everyday day job. I'm over here helping his friend go manager. Now I found another friend here that wants to go manager, so I help him go manager. Another one go manager. What am I doing? Hey, Bob, this is Steve. I just bumped into you. I might even not even take Matt with me. He tells me he's got someone that his friend owns a paint store. Okay. Where is he at? I'm going to go talk to him. Okay, his name is Dan. Hey, Dan, this is Steve. You don't know me, all right? And I hate talking to people, but I got to focus. I'm going to make it happen. That's not my comfort zone. Gina's comfort zone. Matt's got a more comfort zone to talk to people than me, but I'm a competitor. Okay, I got to go talk to people for Matt. Those are easy. They don't even know me. Even if I totally mess it up, it's not my friend. It's his friend. What do I care? All right, so you just go. If he's willing to give me Dan's name, Dan. 
Matt said he bought paint from you. You own this paint store. You're very successful. Hey, we got into something. You ever seen this before? It's called a stem cell reactivation patch. Took 10 years to research, four and a half millions to come to market. It's patented. The testimonies are off the chart. Because of that, it's a very lucrative business opportunity. He said you might want to someday sell your company and maybe have like an extra 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 a week coming in. Does that sound pretty good? Yes, it does. What it's all about. Okay, here's what's going on. He might sign up. He might want some samples. Whatever you got to do, you just get started. You're start that's your 331. But you're helping now Matt. You're creating momentum for your own team. Guess what's going to happen when you get down here? All right? You give me 10 levels deep of doing that, and you're going to find some people, one person, two person, maybe five person with, this, with the X39, you might find nine people that want to make it happen, but they all know what to do because you taught them how to do it. That's how you create momentum. Now, who do you work with? Okay? If this is Matt and he's that fired up, I'm going to, and he's got this kind of, kind of momentum happening, and you see my next leg is over here, not quite, not 10 levels deep, but it's got some momentum. My first goal every time I work is in my leg number one. So let's call that my A leg or my one leg, all right? Let's call it A leg, right? My A leg is where I'm going to work right there, and I'm going to start driving depth. What's the reason to have a meeting? Have another meeting. So I'm just going from people to people, whether I'm doing it on Zooms. I love what Verdita said. She invites all the people to the Zoom. So watch. Not only am I helping Matt do the Zoom, now I'm helping his friend Bob do the Zoom, his friend Dan do the Zoom. I'm taking responsibility. Some of you are kind of like watching to see if it's going to happen. Well, we're making it happen. You get what I'm saying? Now I've got the whiteboard out. I'm showing you what we're doing. And this is so fun because... Now I've got all of Matt's names, okay? He's got thousands in his cell phone. Then he's got his friend that's got thousands and his friend. Before you know it, you're so busy with this one leg, you could be busy for the next 12 months. So you want to focus on your A leg first. What do you do? You look for the B leg second. So this is my second place I should be working trying to drive at 10 deep. I'm helping this friend to help him go manager, then help his friend go manager, then him friend go manager, everybody going manager. What am I saying? The same thing that my kids said that, that uh, Ken told me, uh, told us earlier. Say the same thing that works, and my kids tell me, Dad, you sound like a broken record. Yes, because I say the same thing to every person. It actually, if you sat in my office and you heard me make phone calls, you would like really get, it's like Chinese torture. Because it's the same thing every time. It's like it drives you nuts if you're in there. Gina comes in there sometimes, you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here because it's the same thing. But because of that same thing, it's cha-ching, cha-ching, so then she can get a new pair of shoes, right? Okay, so, uh, now this would be my C leg. You normally can't work with more than three legs, okay? And you notice, you see Cindy and Jens, they're popping like popcorn, different ranks. And when you see someone popping up managers, popping up directors, lots of managers, then, then directors, you're not surprised when they hit the highest rank. That's what you think I'm looking for. I saw all those people, Cindy and Jens, that are popping and they're taking responsibility and put, they're connecting their people on that page and they're, rec and, and they're uh, recognizing them. Did you all get excited when you got to walk across the stage or you saw one of your team members walk across the stage so far this weekend, okay? Well, the only thing we got that they recognize them when we're not here, like when we're on, on Zoom type, in the closet type meetings, is the Facebook page. Put them on there. I'd never recommend getting another page. I could easily tell Onyx, oh, I want to have my own Facebook page. No, I stay focused because I don't want to do all the work of trying to keep up a Facebook page and answer the questions. I just approve them, and they ask you guys questions, and then you answer them. I'm out there driving dip. Okay, so you, but you get to recognize the people on the Facebook page and everyone says, congratulations, congratulations. And you as a leader, you're looking for the people that have all those people being recognized because you know they're going all the way. That's what you're looking for. So if I see them on there, but if you're not on there, I don't know who to call or who, what to do because they're not on there, okay? Uh, so you've got your A leg, your B leg, and your C leg, and you're driving them down, and you're helping them make it happen. And that is what's going to create the momentum between now and going into the new year. If you're wondering what we're doing, that's exactly what we're doing. Now, you might say, hey, what do I need to do? Kais, just do something. How hard is this? I sponsor Matt. I say, Matt, I'm coming over. Let's go help you go manager. And now we go manager. I mean, we just do the same thing that I did sponsor him. Don't make this complicated. If you, the, you can say the complete right thing. You can bring, you can bring uh, Mike Hernandez with you. 
to go sponsor somebody that doesn't have a dream and they don't want to have their stem cells reactivated. They don't want nothing more and you're no one, and he's not going to sponsor them. But you could take the newest person in here today and you could call them up like I did to Renita. She knows way more. She forgot more about stem cells than I'll ever know. And I sponsored her. You see what I mean? If you got ignorance on fire, you're going to sponsor these people. I got a text message. He's in here somewhere. Dr. Palm and his wife, Merit, all right? Uh, uh, they, they texted me and said, this is amazing. This is one of the, uh, the convention. It's like impeccable, all the information that we got. Plastic surgeon, Gene and I, personally sponsored, is telling us how incredible. You think he's gone to conventions before. He's the speaker at the conventions. But you just got to do it. We don't know what to say. We just, we don't know. Where, we know it's not going to be perfect, but you just open up your mouth and people that are looking are going to get in. But this is your strategy. So if you're at home wondering, why is my group not doing anything? They won't do anything unless you take ownership to create that momentum. Now, let me help you. I did bring it back to you when I was driving this leg. You're going to see people wake up when you're driving that depth. And remember, I told the doctors, every person here, you're plugging them into our well-oiled system. They're on the Zooms. They're on the Saturdays. They're, they got to be on the Saturdays. And by the way, if you said, hey, I need to make uh, um, $1,500 a week. Anybody want to make $1,500 a week? If, you could, if I could get you a little less complicated than the auto ship numbers, which are the right numbers that Mike was sharing with you, but something that's very doable that you could believe, what you need to do from the numbers of 13 months of the people on the Zooms on Saturdays, when you have uh, 65 people on a Zoom from your team, your team, doesn't have to be personals, just everybody in your team, 30 of them have to be from your right team. Remember Ciro? Ciro, I mean, you got to have even legs, 50, 30 on the right, 30 on the left approximately. You're going to be looking at $1,500 a week. You want to make a, you want to take and cut that in half and make 700 a week, then you need about 33 people, 33 people, 15 on the right, 15 on the left, you're going to be looking at $700 a week. To want to go higher, then double it. Then you do, if you want to make 3000 a week, then you're going to have to have 120 people on the Zoom. But does that sound doable? Come on, how, how hard is it compared to what everybody else does for a living? Uh, Jens will tell you how much money you got to have in the bank to make $1,500 a week. You know, you'd have to have a lot, right? A lot. Not too many investments, you right away start making $1,500 a week every single week, okay? So that's what we're talking about, and you're looking at 30 right, 30 left. Let me help you. When we started, we could only get five people on the Zoom. Now when you go on the Zoom, you got belief because you see the hundreds of people on there. You know people are hungry, just like we are tonight. So I encourage you to take advantage of what I'm saying to you today. Realize a meeting is going to the next person, the next person. Signing somebody up is just the beginning. But remember, when they take off, so this person down here six levels deep is a Matt Curtis, okay? And this person on my other side is Renita, and she's all fired up. And I got somebody on another leg here, Mike Hernandez. Maybe they're down here, and they take off. They're going to build it whether you do or not. So the only grunt work is the beginning. The beginning is the grunt work to find out who's going to make it happen. You've got to take them by the hand. Once you get a Verdita and Harvey, you see, you don't have to, they're taking over. I, they were on my Zoom calls with Ken and, Ken and Lynn, and they started doing their own. So the people that are, know what they're doing and see what's happening, they just start, having, they start making it happen with or without you. And that is the power of this opportunity. If you're brand new and you've never seen this kind of thing before, when you show up for work, you get paid in a conventional job or a profession or a career, but here is a whole new, de whole new deal. Whether you go show up or not, people are going to go build this business. When they find out what this has got their hands on, I have never, Renita can back me up on this, seen a doctor's panel of this kind of uh, credibility for a product. Just real people, no one paying them, saying, this is the real deal. I've never seen anything like it, is what they were saying, okay? Never seen anything like it. So because of that, this is, if they're saying that, you think your cousin that's never went to medical school has got any credibility with you from now on? I hope that's bringing your belief level up, because that's our goal for this weekend, is have you take your belief level up and eliminate fear, and that's what's going to happen because you got the confidence, you know exactly what to do, this is what we do, we get no's, you get no's, but you're going to get a lot less no's than I've ever seen with the X39 because the only thing is that's going to, someone's going to say a no is they're really, really 
hurting on their stem cell activity in their brain. So that's, I mean, whatever they're doing in life is probably struggling as well. So don't worry, you just keep plugging along. You are gonna find people that are on their game and keep patching them as you go. And you heard David, you can even stick a patch in their pocket and it doesn't even have to be attached and it's already starting to help them uh, get their stem cell activity going up here. So hope that helped you out. Let's go make it happen, create some momentum.